right. Hello, Cancers. We're going to do what energy is coming towards you in regards to love, okay? So these are general readings. And if you, um, if it resonates, like, comment, share. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you'd like to become a part of the channel, click the subscribe button. There's more to come, okay? All right, so this is going to be for Cancer. I'm going to see what energy is coming towards you. Okay. All right, guys. So at the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords talks about sorrow, pain. It also talks about third-party situations. Um, and up under that, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So maybe someone is trying to put in some effort um, after breaking someone's heart or after a third-party situation. Um it seems like someone is possibly trying to put some effort in, okay? Okay, guys, so the first card that we have, we have the Emperor. So there could be an Aries involved, but the Emperor talks about being in the lead, feeling in control. So you could be feeling very, very in control, okay? You feel like you have this in the bag. Um, you're feeling confident, could be a little arrogant, but you're feeling very, very in control, okay? What's crossing you is the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands talks about hesitating, so... The challenge is, you know, you're willing, you, you're diving right in. Um, you're not hesitant at all. Like, you could be feeling like, okay, I got this in the back, so I'm finna just go ahead in and, you know, go ahead and give this a try. When we have the moon here, some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces, um, or there could possibly be things that are hidden, or this talks about your subconscious, um, your thoughts, your emotions, okay? So possibly someone from your past possibly came back, okay? Here with the Six of Cups. Something in regards to your past, okay? Um, and maybe they're coming in to make some changes or there's some transformation or things could possibly, there could possibly be like a temporary ending to something, okay? And then future energy, we have the sun card. The sun card is the most positive card in the deck. This talks about um, clarity, things growing, um, happiness, fun, joy. Okay, so we have the six of pentacles here, okay? So the six of pentacles talks about give and take, you know, so, um, a balance here. Giving and receiving, okay? But clarify here with the moon, there could possibly be something hidden. Um, maybe there's something hidden about giving someone something or taking something from someone. Or they're, you know, emotionally, you could make feel emotionally, um, they possibly wanting to give you um, their emotions or how they feel in regards to something. Um, but, you know, there could be something that's hidden, okay? Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. Someone from your past um, could possibly came back and are standing up for themselves or you're standing up for from someone from your past, okay? There's a sense of not taking no shit, standing your ground, okay? So maybe you feel like I'm not going to um, accept what I did in the past or you're deciding someone from your past could possibly come back in and you're deciding, look, I need to, you know, stand up for myself. Um, but there could definitely be something happening from your past and you're taking, you know, you feel as if there's a need to defend yourself and stand up for yourself. Okay. Okay. So we have the queen of swords here. The queen of swords is air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
Um, but this is someone that's like serious, not taking no shit, cutting down to the bullshit, okay? Cutting out the bullshit. Zero bars given, like no, not taking any bullshit. Um, so maybe there's some clarity and you're deciding to get down to the bottom of it. And you're not, you're not playing at all, okay? Not at all. Not at all. Or there's the air sign involved, okay? So we have the Hierophant card here, which is the card of Taurus. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus. But this is the card of commitment, long-term, doing the right thing. So maybe there's a change, a transformation, some type of change. Or someone has ended something that is long-term, a long-term commitment. Someone possibly could have ended a commitment. Or there is um, a really big transformation here, okay? Clarify the nine of wands. Okay, we have the Two of Cups. So I feel as if this is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you could be feeling like this is being hesitant about this relationship, okay? Maybe that this is the challenge. Maybe you're feeling like um, either you want to dive completely in or you're feeling like the need to be hesitant about this connection. Um, having a guard up in regards to this connection. Just being really hesitant. Guarded, okay? Clarify the emperor. Kind of like checking out their motives, okay? Clarify the emperor. We have the high priestess. Okay, so you could be feeling very, um, feel like your intuition is on point, okay? You could be feeling like your intuition is on point or you feel very, um, very spiritually in control or there's a sense of, um, the high priestess talks about, you know, spiritual connection, um, it talks about hidden knowledge, things being hidden, secrets. But I'm feeling here paired up with the emperor. I'm feeling like spiritually grounded, spiritually in control, intuition on point, okay? So I'm definitely sensing that some, sensing that something from your past, you feeling the need to um, stand up for yourself. You feeling the need to defend yourself, um, stand your ground. Because you're, I feel like you're not sure of their motive here with the moon and the six of pentacles. Like, you feel like there could possibly be something hidden. Like, what, what do they want? Okay, what is it that you want? And I feel like, you know, either there was an ending to a commitment or there's a change. Um, someone's possibly wanting to change to do the right thing. And you're like, Why? So I feel like you're going to be taking things like you're going to be trying to gain some type of clarity here and you're not going to be so nice about it. Okay. All right, guys, at the bottom of the deck, we have trust. So this situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? So there could be some trust issues here, okay? Let me go. What message do you have for cancers? this card popped out let your friends help you okay 
So ask for and accept support from others. We have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And then we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others, okay? All right, so. I'm sorry if I keep looking all over the place. I have some candles burning and I have midnight running and jumping. And, you know, her babies are over here squealing. So it's just a lot going on and I'm just kind of like watching it. Okay, so. Let's Please clarify, let your friends help you. We have the Nine of Cups, okay? So this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. Um, but you could possibly be feeling like, because at the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the Two of Swords. Um, two of Swords talks about being unsure, being indecisive. So maybe you're not sure um, if you're satisfied or you could be feeling like um, this is also about wish fulfillment as well. Um, so maybe you're not sure what you want. And you possibly are, you know, have been talking to friends about it or, you know, clarify the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? We got the emperor. So I feel like you want to have full control over the situation, okay? So maybe you've been talking to friends, okay? You need to let your friends help you on how to get what you want. Maybe your friends can offer you some great advice, okay? The next card that we have is soulmate, okay? Yes, this is your soulmate. So let's get some clarity. Please clarify soulmate. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles, okay? The Four of Pentacles talks about resisting, being selfish, holding back, okay? I have the Four of Pentacles. This is about withholding. I have the Four of Pentacles. Maybe you feel like you need to hold on to this person because you feel like this person is your soulmate. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. We have the Tower. And the Tower talks about feelings of like things happening all of a sudden. So maybe you have this moment where you're like, you know, I need to hold on to this person because I feel like this person could possibly be my soulmate. Okay. Maybe you're planning on having a conversation about it, planning on talking about it. All right, so the next card we have is flirt, okay? Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Clarify flirt, okay? Clarify flirt. we have the page of swords so someone could be on the lookout someone could be spying to see if someone is flirting with someone else someone could come back and give some info saying that they saw someone flirting um but this page of swords talks about someone speaking their truth there could be an air sign involved libra gemini aquarius um but this talks about flirting okay and i feel like someone could possibly be using mind games here with the five of swords to try to make someone feel defeated, but I feel like this someone could be bringing back some news saying, you know, about flirting, or someone is watching to see if there's some flirting going on. Clarify the page of swords. Okay. 
I've had a page of gold, I've left a page of gold here. Mm, we had the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups talks about relationships. It talks about emotional, um, being emotionally fulfilled, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords. So uh, someone is, could possibly be watching someone's relationship, okay? Someone could be watching someone, uh, someone's relationship, gossiping about somebody else's relationship, gossiping about someone flirting with someone in a relationship so this you know there's definitely possibly like some trust issues here okay could possibly be some trust issues all right guys so that is going to be the message that i have for you guys and if you enjoyed this message if it resonated make sure you leave me a thumbs up comment like share subscribe okay all right guys Mwah.